Hey everybody, today is Sunday, December 1st. It is 9.37 a.m. and I got an offer from Uber Eats to go to Sprouts and shop for 10 items. I'm gonna get $11.42 for 3.8 miles. Well, I turned the app on this morning at, what was it, nine, no, eight. The app, I, no, was it eight? <laughs> was it, no, nine, I forgot. I didn't even get all my days mixed up. So about nine o'clock, I turned the app on and it took, it took almost 40 minutes to get this offer. And um, I was just hanging out at home doing my budgeting and um, researching um, uh, U.S. Treasuries, which was fun, because <laughs> that's what I like to do. So I was having fun researching tre U.S. Treasuries and auction dates and all kinds of stuff. And you know, if you watch my older videos, you know I'm uh, I like I like purchasing uh, CDs. But I've always been interested in um, U.S. Treasuries, so I said, well, let me uh, do a little research on U.S. Treasuries and see what they're all about. So I did that, and um, I guess that's about it. That's, those are the main things that I was focused on. And um, if you live in a state that taxes you on your income, which Nevada does not do that, so I don't, CDs and treasuries are about the same for me. But if you live in a state that taxes your income, then you want to not get CDs, you want to get U.S. treasuries because they're only taxed at the federal level, not at the state level. So I was like, oh, okay, well, that's, that's good to know, but it doesn't really affect my decision on investing in... Um, certificates of deposit so that was not a, a major um, concern but I did like the fact that there are much shorter terms that you can do on US Treasuries uh, they have some that are just like for like I think it's like two weeks four weeks uh, eight weeks um, so really short term so you basically stick your money in there for just a real short amount of time and then it just spits back out and you get the interest that it would have earned for that time period. So I'm like, oh, well, that's pretty cool. And nothing else I have found does anything like that. And then of course, you don't have to worry about losing your money because it's, um, it's a government um, loan. And as long as the government uh, doesn't um, get taken over by a foreign country, which I don't think the United States is any any danger of that, then you're gonna be fine. Oh man, people are parked where I like to park. I'm gonna go one more up, I guess. It's like, why did everybody decide? Nobody ever parks in my parking spots. All right, let me just park next to this uh, SUV and we'll head on in. humdinger of a shopping experience the um, items were tough to find and I was not very happy with the uh, long line at the uh, cash register so I went to the self checkout which I normally don't do they have huge signs that say delivery drivers do not use the self checkout but since it was uber eats I can um, get get past that because Uber Eats doesn't have any kind of special barcode that you have to scan to um, to uh, complete the order so unlike DoorDash DoorDash you have to wait in line look at this guy on the wrong side of the road you have to do you have no choice so yeah luckily it was just an Uber Eats and um, there were a couple of substitutes there were some kind of 
keto almond or almond flour keto <laughs> tortillas of some sort I don't know what the hell they were they were weird and the customer did not want the um, the customer just wanted those kind of tortillas I think but then they did not all they did not respond to my replacement which was some type of keto flour tortilla I don't know it was in the refrigerator section and uh, I just met I messaged them and called them they did leave the option open to accept uh, accept substitute so I don't know why I don't know exactly why the customer did not respond or why they did not um, just say no substitutes and just issue a refund because the, the app does give them that option but for whatever reason they uh, they allowed it but then they did not respond to the request for the substitute so I was like while well, you're getting the substitute I did message them letting them know I'm getting them the substitute I can't I haven't heard back from you but I'm gonna get you the substitute because it seemed close enough it was one of those health conscious tortillas for um, you know for health nuts <laughs> so yeah so I figured well it must be good enough because um, it's keto <laughs> and the other one they wanted was um, oh I don't know what it was I can't remember it was like an almond floured I don't know <laughs> almond and some almond and flaxseed tortilla well then you know they're weird the tortillas that they want that are that are at sprouts they're these strange ingredients that they use to make them so they're so wholesome and natural and all that other crap so yeah so I got that and then um, and then once I got past all that I was able to get out of there and the market was really crowded this morning and uh, they only had one cashier working the register so that was really surprising but uh, yeah, there's not much else to report on the shopping. So now I'm headed onto the freeway. If I make this light, great. If I don't, whatever. But I've been flowing pretty good. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna make it. Hey, I'm in the intersection. That's all that matters. <laughs> and I'm on my way. And uh, we're going just another 1.3 miles, two minute drive. It's a leave at the door and it's a house. So everything's good. And the goal to today is to make $50 if possible if not whatever <laughs> and uh, not much else to report it was cold this morning it's, it's currently 57 degrees right now so it's not that cold right now everything's fine and uh, I woke up this morning not in any mood to work today I was like I don't want to work I don't feel like it and uh, I knew I didn't have to start my shift until uh, 9 uh, a.m. so I knew I had a lot of time I think I woke up this morning at about 4 30 a.m. and just did my usual routine all the different chores I have to do and um, I was watching TV and uh, I got really into this Netflix documentary about um, the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC and I guess the guy who created them um, rip them off or something I only finished episode number one there's several more episodes to go but it's entertaining because you know I was into uh, the the boy bands back in the day so I was like oh I want to hear let's find out all about how they were screwed over by management and, and uh, taken advantage of as young poor talented singers ten dollars and a penny for 9.9 .9 miles no make a left here these look like all townhouses and it's gonna be on the right hand side make sure I deliver to the right townhouse if it is a townhouse now these look like houses so I'm gonna be no have no problem here's the house here ten dollars fifty eight cents fifteen miles no we'll drop this off
eleven dollars and what is that? Eleven dollars and something. I guess that sounds good. Oh God, it's the IHOP. Lord help me. I'm gonna hit the accept button. I'll tell you about it in a second here. Gotta wait for this big old truck to go by. I gotta turn around. I turn it around. Oh boy. All right, everybody, I got another one, and it's coming from uh, our friends at Uber Eats. I'm going to be going to IHOP, which is probably going to be really crowded. $11.13 for 4.8 miles. Oh, boy. Y'all, this one's going to be real fun. I'm sure there's going to be all kinds of people at IHOP, and it's going to be packed. I'm sure, I'm sure it's going to be just loaded with people, but the money to mile ratio was fair, so I'm like, all right, let's just go do it, get it over with. It's better than shopping, I guess, at Sprouts, and um, so anyway, that delivery went just fine. I just put everything behind the column, and, um, and then that was it, took a picture and came back to the car. <laughs> it was a real simple drop-off, there was no problems at all, and... Uh, I gotta make sure I reset my DoorDash once I get to IHOP so that I don't lose my shift on DoorDash. So far, everybody's been real generous for um, Uber Eats, so we're on a roll with Uber Eats. This will take me to, um, oh, I don't know, $22? I think the other one was $11, was not it? I don't remember. This one is $11, and the last one was $11. Yeah, $22, $23, $22 and change once I deliver this one. So that's almost 50, halfway to the goal um, of, for today. So things are moving along pretty busy now. So it looks like uh, everybody in town is starting to wake up and their stomachs are growling and they want food <laughs> and they want it delivered. So that's where I come into the picture. IHOP's going to be coming up on the right. They have some mobile, mobile order pickup spots and uh, I don't know. I'm a little bit worried that the place is going to be jam-packed and I'm not going to be able to do the delivery just based on what I'm seeing in the parking lot. It looks like there's quite a bit of cars, so I'm not very hopeful about this um, delivery. God, I wish this girl would close her door. Oh good, she closed her door. I can park. And this poor man, he's changed the direction he was walking. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm going another way. Let's head to our pickup. That did not take long at all. It's a house. It's a leave at the door. Ring doorbell and drop off at doorstep. I can do that. <laughs> I know how to ring a doorbell if I remember. If I could only remember. Because I would say 90% of the time they say don't ring the doorbell. They say don't ring, don't knock, just leave it. That's the majority of the customers. But uh, this one wants their door, their bell rung, so we're gonna ring their bell. And it's gonna be 3.6 miles from here. It's a nine minute drive. Man, it's way over there on the other side of town for me. And uh, the IHOP was crowded. But people were being seated quickly, so there was nobody in the waiting room area except another delivery driver or a person just ordering an online pickup. And the uh, person helped me pretty quick, and they just went behind, you know, near where the, the kitchen is, and they grabbed the order and then just brought it out on, and set it on the counter. And of course, he couldn't remember the name of the person. I just repeated it to him. I said, "This is for this customer, right?" 
He's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, uh-huh. I'm like, bye. <laughs> I'm like, he was phoning it in today just like me, and we're all like on autopilot. Because it's Sunday, you know? It's Sunday, and everybody's low energy. We're all tired from the busy work week, and we just want to get this day done and go back home and chill out. So, yeah, so that was pretty much it for the, uh, the uh, IHOP delivery. And um, so far, the day's going fine. The weather's warming up. I'm at 57 degrees. Now it's sunny and there's no wind and it's real nice. It's a nice day to be out and about. The traffic isn't too heavy. It's not too bad at all. Hold on, this food is this food is jostling around. I should tie a knot in it. That way it doesn't move so much. Usually when I first get these orders, I always tie a knot in the bag so that way the food, you know, doesn't start to shift around. But um Sometimes with IHOP ones, I just out of habit don't tie a knot in the bag because they usually they usually put so much stuff in the um, in the in the IHOP bag that you can't tie a knot. And so I'm so used to that kind of situation that I forgot. I was like, oh well, I, I can't tie it because it's so full. That's what my mind was thinking, even though it wasn't. So <laughs> once I hit the brakes on this red light. I think one of the one of the little boxes of scrambled eggs or something started to shift, and I said, "Oh no, I don't want that flipping upside down." So I, I got it all secured now. And um, yeah, there's nothing else too too um, too thrilling happening today. It's um, it's just kind of one of those days where everybody really should just be staying at home. You know, yesterday was total chaos. Yesterday, everybody was shopping, shopping, and more shopping. Every place I went, there were people out and about. <clears throat> and uh, I, I heard several customers in the store say, why is it so crowded today? <laughs> and uh, their, I think their friends said, oh yeah, it's, it's Black Friday, or you know, big sales are today. Or, you know, people are doing their Christmas shopping. They were saying all this stuff. So yeah, that's uh, the day, the the Saturday after Thanksgiving, Friday and Saturday are the busiest days for um, retail stores. Now it's not as crazy as it was back in my day because of the internet. Back in my day, it was a madhouse. Every place you went, you were you were like at an amusement park. It was so packed with people. You could not um. You could not. You could barely even see the store shelves. There were so many people all huddled inside of a store. But those days are gone because of the internet. Everybody that doesn't want to deal with crowds, they just shop online. <laughs> just like me, I don't like to shop in the stores anymore. I just click the button and off it goes. <laughs> it makes it a lot simpler. And uh, some people, though, I think they get nostalgic for the olden days and so they still want to go out and do shopping the uh, the old-fashioned way which is like um, you know if that's what they like to do go for it I'm not a shopper I don't really like to go shop I like to go shopping but you know this is a part of the job when I first started doing this there was no shopping we used to just I used to just go and get the food pick it up and drop it off but uh, once they started paying good to do the shopping and the money to mile ratios were so good, I was like, I've got to do the shopping. I've got to learn it and just go on autopilot and just get it done. Like learn, learn how to do it and then just do it. And so that's what I've been doing ever since. Um, whenever I see a shopping order, I just use my mathematical formula. <laughs> My one dollar for every item formula, and then of course two dollars for every mile. But my usual minimum is at least nine dollars to um, do shopping for anybody. Is my usual minimum because of the complications that can occur when you're shopping for people. Sometimes when you're doing their shopping, they don't have it in stock. You gotta ask the clerk. You can't find the item. You gotta wander the store aimlessly, hoping to find it. You gotta, you gotta look for substitutes. Um, there's so many things that can happen. You gotta wait in a long line sometimes to get out of there. There's all kinds of roadblocks when it comes to um, 
shopping for people's items. So that's why I make a minimum of $9. And every single item I expect to be given a dollar for every item. Which most of the time I that's the case. And then I will be flexible on it if it's like a huge number of items. Or a huge dollar amount. Like if, it, if they're going to pay me like $25 to shop. And they have like 30 items. I'll probably just take it. I'll be like well that's alright. <laughs> I want that $25. I'll do it. <laughs> but usually if it's less than less than $20, I'm pretty strict. I'm like, nope, a dollar for every item. Sorry. I mean, unless it's super slow. Like if we have a really slow day out there that you're just desperate. $12.58 for 15 miles. No. Ring the doorbell. Do not forget to ring the doorbell. It's such a bad habit of forget. I think I for I think I forget ringing the doorbell probably about 25% of the time I forget to ring the doorbell. It's not 50% of the time. 25% of the time I forget. A lot of times it's just you know when I step away to take the pictures when I forget. Six dollars for 3.7 miles. No. We're gonna be making a left where that white SUV is making a left. I'm gonna follow this person and then I'm gonna be making another left turn after that. Here we go, making that turn. And then there's another left turn coming up in just a quarter of a mile. And uh, this is a pretty good delivery. It's taking me back closer to uh, my zone, I think. I'm still in my zone at the very least. I'm gonna make a left at this next opening here where it says Liberty. And uh, then I'll be making another left Ooh, these houses aren't so nice. <laughs> 10 mile an hour speed limit. Whoa, Ooh, I don't like these houses. These houses don't even look like houses. These are the tiniest. These are almost like, you know, they see now the HGTV tiny houses. That's what these look like. They're so small. Speed bump. Oh, is it on the left or the right? It's on the right hand side. Um, it's coming up shortly. There goes somebody walking, carrying their dog for some reason. Here it is. It's right here. We are here, everybody. got video of me walking to the to the door I think I pressed the wrong button eight dollars for 7.5 miles no I think I pressed the wrong button two dollars and three cents for three miles no yo I think I pushed the wrong I, I pushed the wrong button while I was doing video whatever it happens that's life um, Turn back on my DoorDash. Resume DoorDash. I'm trying to think where, which way I should go, left or right, to go back. I think I'll make a right. I think I'll make a right. I usually don't get a lot of deliveries if I'm on Cactus. So I'm going to go back towards Pile. And make a right here. It's a little bit out of my way to go back this way, but I think I'll have a better chance of getting an opportunity. If I go this way... Cactus tends to be a dead zone for me. I have bad luck with cactus. So we'll go this way. The near, the things that are nearby here are like Starbucks. Seven dollars fifty-two cents, thirteen miles. No, we got a Starbucks. We got a um, McDonald's. We got an Albertsons. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Jump over. Yeah, they got a lot of good places over here. So. Sorry, big old giant truck. I didn't see you to the last minute. That was my bad. And, uh, 
Yeah, there's lots of different places over here, so I think it's worth worth the chance anyway to get something. Whether or not I actually get something, I couldn't tell you. It's all the mystery of the universe. So now we're officially at, um, what, $22 officially? As I make my way back towards home, $6.03, 7.5 miles. No, no, and no. And uh, I wasn't thinking it was going to be this busy. I was really planning on just doing that one Sprouts delivery, $8.06, 16 miles. No. I was going to do that one Sprouts delivery and then I was going to go back home and have my early lunch. And now it's getting close to um, the actual time where it's going to get busy. It's 10.20 a.m. right now and it always starts to get busy at around 11. And now I'm thinking, oh, am I going to even have time to have my early lunch because of this, uh, this situation? But if I can just make it home, I'm going to pause the app and shut everything down. I mean, shut off, you know, pause everything and then have my lunch and then go back out again. If I make it back home. If I don't, the rule is to just keep going unless I'm desperately hungry, which I'm not desperately hungry. I'm all right. The last time I ate was about 4.30 in the morning, I think was the last time I ate. And... Uh, I'm not super starving, but since I've been eating, I eat early normally, I'm already starting to feel a little bit hungry, a little bit ready to eat, and I'm going to have my usual, my vegetables, blah, 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 vegetables with beans and rice and some chicken or turkey, blah, blah, <laughs> and uh, I have to eat that keep doing that I have a my my lab work and my doctor's appointment is at the end of this month so I've got to get my lab work done and I want to have good results and I'm hoping I can stay on track with the way I'm eating because I know it's going to be better for me in the long run and um, especially at this age you know I'm you know you're it's, it's just a matter of time before the the risk factors are going to hit and I'm going to be um, at risk for getting like a stroke or a heart attack or um, what are the other biggies? I think those are the biggies. Or I can have an aneurysm or who knows what. Because, you know, when you get older, the number one killer is cardiovascular disease because American diets are so horrible. So, yeah, I'm about getting closer to that age where it's going to hit. Cause I'm a man too. When you're when you're male and you're American, and you eat the American diet, that's what you get. Surprise! Heart attack, stroke, high blood pressure, diabetes. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Welcome to America. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I've got to make sure I go in and they check me out, and uh, I want to hear. I want to get a good report, and uh, you know it's good to stay get practice for the future because. Once you reach a certain age and you have health problems, you gotta really be on, on your game. Five dollars nine cents, five point three miles. No, well, you gotta be on your game in old age, so that way you wanna at least make it. You wanna at least make it into your seventies. You know, seventies. You know, ideally, and in good health in your seventies, not laying in the nursing home crying because no one in your family comes to visit you. Thirteen dollars and forty nine cents for seventeen miles. No. Yeah, you don't want to be in that situation where you're worried about getting bed sores and abused by by the staff at the nursing home. You don't want to be in that situation. Two dollars and sixty cents, one point seven miles. No, nobody wants that. That's a horrible situation. So take care of yourself. Three dollars and a penny, two point nine miles. No. Three dollars and six cents for three miles. No. Lousy, lousy offers. People suck. <laughs> People are so cheap. They're always looking for a bargain. They're like, why should I have to pay this driver? The food is already so expensive. $13.05 for 15 miles. No. People are, you know all those things that people say as they're ordering stuff. I'm not tipping this guy. $2.68 for 15 miles. No. Why should I have to tip this person? I, it's not required. I'm not going to put in a tip. 
I'm like, you don't want a tip? You're not going to get your stuff. <laughs> I'm like, the restaurant may make your stuff, but it doesn't mean I'm going to go get it. <laughs> $7.21 for 4.9 miles. No. It's like, it's like my decision on whether or not to pick up your food is optional too. <laughs> it's not required, just like the tip. $3.08, 7 miles. No. It's like maybe... Uber Eats and DoorDash need to start hiring actual employees. Then you'll get your stuff. <laughs> and guess what will happen though? They'll raise the delivery fee. You won't be getting that cheap delivery fee anymore because now they'll actually have to pay for these hourly um, employees to uh, pick up your stuff and not have us us suckers do your, do your bidding. Oh shoot, I don't have any tissues. My nose is starting to run. I got in this situation last time. Why don't I think ahead? I had put a box of tissues in this car and I took it out because I didn't have enough room in the car. I thought, oh, I don't need this in the car anymore. Now I'm regretting it. Oh, well, I'll pick something up. I'll remember to pick up a box of tissues and throw it in the car when I get back home. I tell you, with this job, you have to think about everything. I even have you even have to ha worry about where you're gonna go to the bathroom. You have to keep special supplies in your car in case you're in an area where there's no bathroom. And I don't know what you uh, ladies do when you're delivering and you desperately have to go to the bathroom and there's no bathroom. I have no idea what you guys do. Maybe you wear a diaper. I don't know. Luckily for us guys, we just need some type of receptacle <laughs> to take care of business and then we can move on. So yeah, at the when I used to do Uber and drive people around, they had those porta potties at the airport uh, waiting lot, but they are so filthy. They are the nastiest toilets you can possibly imagine. Just think of the most filthiest bathroom on earth, and that's what you'll get if you go into one of those bathrooms or or porta potties at the airport um, Uber waiting lot. Oh. I still have nightmares from those. <laughs> they are so gross. <laughs> it's like that, that's when you go into one of those bathrooms, that's when you realize that humans really are animals, filthy, dirty animals. <laughs> that's when you can you can um, verify that we are not we are not anywhere near we are nowhere near being above animals on the earth we are right there along with them they should just slop us like hogs like just just slop us in the mud <laughs> just throw the food in a trough and we'll just gorge on it <laughs> and it's just too much man that is a gross experience i remember as a kid when i first went to school and i had to use public restrooms i remember how how embarrassing it was i'm like this is embarrassing why do why do why isn't there just a single bathroom to go? Why do I have to go and all of, you know, use the bathroom side by side with all these urinals and all these stalls in a row? It just seems so, um, um, uh, so, uh, uh, like it, there's no privacy. I mean, you're so used to having just your own house and you go in the bathroom by yourself and by yourself and use the bathroom. So it just, it's a real shock. I think for all kids it's a shock when they go to school for the first time as kids and they realize my and they don't want to a lot of kids won't go in the bathroom until they know nobody's in there <laughs> and I think I was like that too as a kid I just thought it was so um, it was so strange and awkward and um, now that I'm older of course I could care less I'm like wherever there's a, wherever there's a pot I will go <laughs> I'm like, just out of my way, I gotta go. <laughs> I think as you get older, you get more comfortable with your body, so you don't care. But when you're young, you're so self-conscious about anybody seeing any of your business that you're just like, get away from me. <laughs> oh, Lord. The time is uh, 11.27 a.m. and I got an offer from Uber Eats to go to Sprout. I'm going to be shopping for 30 items and get $33.04 for 6.8 miles and it has the little icon that says I'm picking up a lot of heavy stuff. 
So yeah, <laughs> but this means that this is over and I'll be done. So I'm going to be picking up uh, two cases of water, two gallon jugs of alkaline water. Uh, what else is heavy in this list? Um, just a bunch of fruit, milk. Um, oh, here we go. Refrigerated beverages, some kombuchas. Uh, oh, they're adding more stuff as I speak. It says customer added more to the order. I'm like, these bastards. <laughs> they have a lot of nerve. It's like, it's already big enough. You're adding more. <laughs> Um, yeah, a bunch of kombuchas. So yeah, it's, I'm definitely going to be using the large shopping cart and hopefully everything fits. I'll probably end up getting the water first so that way it's at the bottom of the cart. And then I can just start piling stuff on top of it. But yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Currently it's at 33 items. So they definitely added a lot more items than what they originally said. So three more. But it's still $33, so I'm like, well, <laughs> okay, I guess. <laughs> and it is the last one, so it shouldn't take more than, what, an hour and a half at the most. So, and then the day will be over, so 11.30. So by 1 o'clock, I'll be done, and the day will be over. It's like, it's fine. I was just at home. I did get to eat, so I had my vegetables and beans and chicken and all that stuff. I'm watching... I was watching Netflix and having a good old time. And then this came in. And it's just this. I'm just glad that it's just the only thing I have to do. There's not going to be more multiple deliveries I'm going to have to keep doing. So. Turn right. It's just too bad that it has to be something that's going to be so difficult. You know, as far as the, the weight, you know, the volume of stuff that I have to shop for. And then the weight of it that I have to carry. That's going to be a pain. But, um. Yeah, now I just gotta hope that the that the sprouts inside yeah. is, is not then gonna be super crowded. Oh man. Alright, here we are. Let's go in. Look at all these groceries. There's water. Man, it's going to be brutal. They did not lie when they said that this one was going to be heavy. They did not lie. Man, that was a long... I wasn't in there that long. I mean, I got this offer at... Oh, man. <laughs> that was a lot. I got this offer at 12.35. I mean, 11.35. It's 12:18, so I wasn't in. I wasn't in there an hour, so it was like. Uh, <laughs> turn left, then turn right. Oh, what's this guy doing? Besides like driving like a lunatic. I was in there for. Well, let's see, 30, 40, 50 minutes. I was total for the shopping so almost an hour 50 minutes almost an hour and now I've got a 13 minute drive to drop this crap off oh man it's gonna be so heavy uh, there's no fast way to deliver it and it was brutal the number of items that they wanted really really added up to a huge cart as you saw in the previous scene it was a lot of stuff heavy stuff too these heavy glass bottles of kombucha which is some kind of drink that is really nasty some kind of fermented drink and uh, they had substitutes they needed and then they changed the substitute that I selected to something else I was popping all over that store, back and forth, back and forth. 
trying to get everything that they wanted. And the people, there's one lady that was like, so dumb and she was like she's like oh are you going this way <laughs> I'm like well do you see me standing here waiting for you to move <laughs> I said yes I'm going that way thank you <laughs> in my mind I'm like girl what do you think I'm staring I'm staring straight ahead waiting for you to get out of my way <laughs> I'm like what in the hell is she and she's got her little kid with her so she's multitasking like crazy trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing why I'm not moving out of her way I'm like why would I be moving out of your way I'm not done I'm trying to go straight ahead <laughs> I think in her mind she felt like it was like a, a car and I need to just veer to the right and get out of her way and I'm like no <laughs> I'm like I'm going straight ahead <laughs> I'm like, we're not driving cars, we're driving shopping carts, and I was here first, so get out of my way, <laughs> lady. <laughs> and uh, um, what else happened when I was in there that was kind of interesting? Oh, they wanted a, they wanted these chocolate-covered almonds, you know, out of the barrels where you have to scoop them yourself and then weigh them. And I just quickly scooped up, I got half a pound, and when I got to the checkout, She's like, do you know what the code number is for these chocolate covered almonds? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> so I had to walk back over to the um, almonds and find the um, code. And then I told her what the code was. Um, I don't, that was, I think, the first time I've ever scooped anything out of the buckets before. And um, I don't, I didn't see a, like a pen or a pencil or anything that tells you to write down what the code number is. So how am I supposed to remember what the code for these almonds are? But, uh, yeah, and, um, the lady was very nice at the register, and everything flowed along just fine for that. Um, and I don't think anything else too severe happened that was, um, shocking or disturbing or <laughs> weird. Everything else was pretty normal. I just can't believe they ordered so much stuff. This is crazy to me. It's like, this is a lot of stuff. And I hope they don't have a lot of stairs. Where are we going? It's a house and it's a leave at the door. So I don't have to see their face. So that's good. Oh, but I don't know where, it at, where we're going exactly. Um, let's see if I'm going to be making a turn pretty soon. Nope. I'm going deep up into Anthem. Probably where the Inspirata is. Which is fine, and it looks like I'm still on schedule to be done by 1 o'clock, so that's fine. <laughs> I'm so tired. Man, that was a lot of work. I'm so used to buying, you know, 10, maybe 15 items. Not this many, and they kept adding items, so they got like a total of 33 items they had me shopping for in Sprouts. And I'm sure many other drivers decline this offer because Sprouts is a hard store to shop in. Very hard to shop in. And you have to have a lot of experience shopping there to know what to do. And if you don't, if you don't, man, you could not find anything because all the items are so weird. And they don't tell you what aisle anything is in or nothing. Luckily... If you guys watch my videos, I regular, regularly <laughs> go into Sprouts and um, shop for stuff in there. So it wasn't hard for me to find stuff. Um, it just was a lot of back and forth because, um, <laughs> because they kept wanting substitutes. And then there would be items that they added at the last minute. So I'd, would ha I'd have to leave the cart and run over across to the other side of the store. And then the kombucha, they sell it in two different sections of the store. One near the bread and the other one at the far end of the store near the produce. <sighs> and then they wanted a substitute for that. So I had to bop back from one end of the store to the other for the other kind of kombucha. I'm like, please let this shopping experience just end. I'm in no shape. I'm in no shape to be dealing with this situation. And um, 
I'm just gonna have to go real slow when I'm delivering all of the uh, groceries because um, it's a lot. <laughs> and if there are stairs, well, I'm gonna have to individually carry each case of water. So there's gonna be many, many trips I'm gonna have to go back and forth on. And as soon as I arrive at the destination, I'm taking my jacket off because um, <laughs> I know I'm gonna be hot and sweaty when this is all over with. Oh man, so yeah, I don't know, was this worth it? <laughs> I'll tell you when this is all over, when this whole experience of this job is over, I can tell you if it was worth it or not. I mean, it's definitely worth it for the, to save my car, you know, miles. That part of it is worth it. Because right now I have 17 miles on the car. And I'm gonna, it's going to be about three more miles till I get there. So it's about 20 miles total once I'm all done with this, uh, this part of the, of the driving. Not the driving home part. I still count that. But... Um, that's still pretty good, I think. I'm, I'm going to be well over $50. Should everything work out fine and they um, pay me the full tip. Now, <laughs> you know with Uber Eats, they can change their mind. They can be like, mm, I didn't like the, the type of uh, produce they shot for me. I'm going to have to lower the tip. Or, mm, I didn't, I wanted, um, these drinks are, these drinks are not as cold as I want them. You know, they can make them whatever they want. Oh, this bag, they packed my stuff in this bag too heavy, and it was real heavy for me to lift, and my shoulder hurt as a customer. I'm going to have to deduct their tip, <laughs> or whatever. Oh, they blocked my driveway when they were unloading the groceries. <laughs> People could come up with whatever excuse they want to lower the tip, but um, usually when a customer um, has you do this much work, they are appreciative because they know what a pain it is to, to do all this shopping. It is not fun at all. Not to mention all the customers and all the attitude they throw when you're trying to push the cart through the store. <laughs> They're trying to throw you shade everywhere you go. I'm like, get the hell out of my way. I'm like, I'm like, I'm just trying to get my job done. Don't try to throw me attitude. Try to be, you know, try to be courteous and recognize that <laughs> I'm in here shopping too, just like you. <laughs> Some of the people are really polite. I can't, I, I can't speak to that one lady at the at, by the bread. But I, there were many people who saw me coming and they just veered out of my way, and I appreciated them very much. They saw I was coming down the aisle with all my stuff, and they're like, "Uh oh, I better get out of his way." <laughs> and they did. And then. Uh, so there are still some nice people in the world that are courteous and look look out for look look out for other people. <laughs> there are a few. So I'm gonna be making a ride up here, and um, then after this, I'm, I should be making a left after this because I don't think there is a right turn to go up uh, to to Inspirata. All right, right here, yeah, I'm making a left next. One mile to go, three more minutes. Please let the drop off be easy. That's all I'm asking for. Just an easy drop off if you please, no complications. Oh my gosh. I don't know how many deliveries did we do today? I think this is just the third one. I think we've just done three deliveries. Oh, boy. I am beat. I, I couldn't do another one after this. I am so tired now. That really wiped me out. You know, it is, you know, you got to figure, you know, you're on your feet, you're pushing the car, you're using all that brain power to figure out which item is which as you put it in the car. You're trying to organize it so nothing gets crushed. So you got the heaviest stuff on the bottom first. There's so many things, and you're just, um, you just try not to get frustrated. That's the hardest part, is not getting pissed off when you're, when you're shopping. Because at any moment, I could feel like my blood pressure rising. I'm like, okay, just stay calm. <laughs> stay calm. It's going to be okay. We're, we're an experienced delivery driver. We know how to deal with these situations. We got an answer for every scenario, so it's going to be okay. 
<laughs> That's how I calm myself down. You know, when you do this job and you're brand new, it's so easy to get stressed out because you don't know anything. And so everything stresses you out. Just learning how to use the app will stress you the hell out. So, so yeah, so it gets easier is what I'm trying to say. So any of you people that are interested in doing this, just be prepared for a lot of stress in the beginning and you're like why you know and you don't get paid a lot for this job so you have to pretend like you're doing a, a community service work when you're doing this job and think and you have to and i always try to think about the exercise and you know getting out of the house i try to think about all the positives about doing this job because if you think about the negatives of this job for Forget it. <laughs> Forget it. You'll quit so fast. You'll be like, I hate this job. <laughs> it's going to be on the left hand side coming up. Um, not after the stop sign coming up. Um, we're getting real close though, but it's after this stop sign and then it'll be on the left hand side almost to the next stop sign, it looks like. Uh -huh. And it looks like there's a lot of cars parked in front of their house. See all the cars on the left hand side? That means somewhere over there is the house I'm looking need to park at. And there's just a whole crap load of cars. <sighs> okay, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm using my eyes. I'm looking. There it is. I see it. I see it. It's gonna be a real pain in the butt. I see it. Look at all that those rocks. Look at the rocks. See the rocks? I have to walk across those rocks over and over again. And look at that gate. <laughs> this is going to be so not fun. Oh, boy. Just do the best I can. That's all you can do. Oh, I'm trying to angle my back of my car. All right, here we go. Fine. 
go offline. Tell me how to get home. Tell me, guide me out of this mess. <sighs> well, <laughs> well, <laughs> that was a lot. But the, wa the walk from the car to the front door was short. And of course, look, I forgot to take my jacket off. I need to pull over. Take the second right off of Devonta <sighs> Avenue, then turn left off of Mr. Burning up. Oh. Oh, man. Come on, guy. Lose that weight. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. I believe in you. Oh, man. All these crazy roads. Stop sign. One way. One way. Two way stop. Three way stop. Watch out. Traffic does not stop. Oh, okay, I think I can talk now. <laughs> this place is so crazy. Um, yeah, the walkway was short, so it was easy to go back and forth. And because I made sure I didn't overload myself with each trip, I was okay. I did not overburden myself with really heavy loads to carry to the door. So I did a little bit, a little bit, a little bit until all the trips were done and everything was at the door. And that was the secret for that one. Now, if there had been a lot of stairs or a long driveway, I would be so I would be so screwed. I'd be like sweating like crazy. So that wasn't bad. It took a grand total of an hour to complete that one. It's 12:37 right now. So that was a, that was worth it, right? $33 an hour for that particular job. That was worth it. And. Uh, so I have no regrets on accepting that offer, um, but it wasn't easy. It was a very hard uh, job. That was, um, as the hardest part about that job was the shopping. The shopping was very, very, that was the ha hardest shopping job I've done in a very long time. And um, I don't want to do a job like that again for a very long time. Um, but I'm just glad it's done. And now I should be at, oh, I don't know, 33 and 22 is, uh, what is that, 55? So I'm at 55, whatever. You see the numbers now. I think I should have put them up by now. Oh, man, I can turn off my, I know how to get home from here. So, yeah, everything worked out. And uh, I have, um, I now have hit the goal and, um, I'm just glad it's over. It's in the past, and I will be back out here again tomorrow. I'm sure. Whew. All right. Well, what else is there to tell you? There's not much else to say. I hope your your delivery experiences are much more pleasant today than mine have been, and uh, I hope that you made a lot of money today, and. Uh, you made enough money where you never have to do this job again and you can retire. <laughs> you probably didn't make that much money, but I'm just hoping that you did. All right. Well, that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you again on the next one. Take care. Bye for now.